everybody. Well, we really tried to do a live event this morning on Facebook, or sorry, on YouTube, and it did not go well, unfortunately. Um, I tried. <laughs> I think our internet is just not fabulous right now. I think a lot of people are using internet and working from home, and I couldn't, I, w I tried to toggle over and use our data, and even that was glitchy. So, I'm going to tell you everything I have to say, and then I'll make this one of those premieres so we can all type together and talk, and I think that's going to be the way to go right now. Frankly, lives are fun, but they're a little stressful because we get spammers in the comments sometimes, and um, this way we, um, we'll we just stay together. I just got a text from my friend Andrea checking in on me because I just cried in the last... Um, Facebook Live I was trying to do. Um, so I have a lot to tell you. I'm just going to jump right in and acknowledge that this is a challenging time and we are all doing things as gracefully as we can. And then um, I don't know about you, but I'm having moments where I'm I'm not so graceful and um, I'm potentially my least graceful self. And that's okay. I think we... Um, we should just be really forgiving with ourselves right now. We, um, we're doing the best we can, all of us, and it's really key if you can stay home to stay home so that the people who can't stay home right now and have to go to the hospitals and go to the pharmacies and work in the grocery stores have the least amount of exposure possible. And that's what we can all do. And while we're doing that, we can stay home together and we can knit and we can bake and we can talk on the internet and we can check in with our friends and support each other and text our neighbors when we know we're going to the grocery store or the liquor store and see if they need anything. Um, see if anybody needs some leaves raked in their yard, just stay away from each other and um, we'll get through this faster if we do that. That's my little soapbox for you. Um, on Monday, I had a bad day. I don't, I don't have bad days so often, and when I do have bad days, I don't really let people see them. But on Monday, I had to cancel the trip to Ireland that I was doing with a big group. We were um, doing some really incredible things and getting to knit and learn together and travel in Ireland and then going to Woolen. And Woolen was canceled, so my trip was canceled, and um, I got a little sad about it. Um, and part of what got me sad was all of the really phenomenal, understanding, supportive emails that I got back from people. Um, not going to cry <laughs> when, um, when I sent out the, um, the news that we were going to cancel. We're, we are able to reschedule for next year, so it's not really a full cancellation. And right now, almost everybody who was on the original trip is able to join us. And I think we all feel a lot safer about it doing that. Um, Andrea's texting me on the side. I'm trying to ignore it. <laughs> um, so I have things to tell you about. I've got exciting stuff going on. And what's a little awkward is, you know, we all had plans. Like I have been working on a project since November that was always supposed to launch at the end of this week. And it's still launching at the end of this week. But it feels awkward to be like my typical, like, hey, look what I did. Hey, I've got kits. Um, hey, let's knit more. And you know, I, I was talking with my friend about it the other day, like how do we still run our businesses and do it in a way that's like not all up in people's faces, like as gracefully as possible. Um, know that for me, um, my kits when I'm um, when I'm selling things in my shop. I'm buying materials from other people. So your support of buying kits from me is supporting like a whole chain of suppliers. And I think it's important to see that. And I'm doing my part to try not to um, break that chain for as long as possible. Basically, at some point, there's going to be things I can't get because they can't get things. But until that time, I'm trying to do those pieces of my business as normal because I know I'm I'm not only supporting me and my family, but um, I'm also supporting my community because I'm able to go out and buy gift certificates from people. And I'm supporting all of those like yarn dyers and, and bead suppliers, etc. There's all of that, but I'm thinking on it hard and I, um, it, um, it's clearly causing me a little stress as I'm going through like, what is the best way to do this for everybody? 
um, I have a list because I do that to help me stay on track. Um, I did a little stress baking last night at um, midnight, and I'll give you guys a link below um, to this artisan bread recipe that Lois posted in our Facebook group last week. Um, I've been kind of posting little check-ins and people are saying what they're cooking that day and what they're knitting on. doesn't have to be one of my patterns, whatever you're knitting on. I'm not even knitting one of my designs right now. I'm on a little break. Um, I'll show you that in a sec. Um, so I'm making this apple bread and it's about to go into the oven when I'm done. It actually goes into a cold oven in a, um, in a Dutch oven and then um, you bake it, bring up the temperature and bake it and it sounds really good and I, oh, I'm clearly eating wheat again. Um, last um, live or log, I told you guys I was taking a break from like wheat and dairy and wine. Um, and I was doing that because I was getting ready for an outpatient surgery, a procedure that needs to be done at some point, but it's not like an emergency. Um, and I was trying to do like a little cleanse to have my body as healthy as, you know, as possible to like heal from surgery quickly. Um, and since that got canceled yesterday, I was like, I can freaking eat wheat again. I don't have to. And um, tomorrow's my birthday and I'm going to get a really good bottle of red wine tomorrow for my birthday. Um, that's my present to myself. Um, and... That's going to be our one trip to the store for the week. I've been I've been saving it up. Um, so stress baking. I'm sure you guys are doing more cooking than usual. Or I know my friend Kelly. Hey Kelly, who lives in New York City, has been doing like an order out from different places every day, trying to support all of the restaurants around her. Um, and that's probably safer than her going out and going to the grocery store. So. Um, I've been jealous of Kelly's posts on Facebook because her food looks really good and ours is kind of like what we cook and what we eat. It's getting a little boring, but we're okay. I'm not complaining. Um, one thing I am doing that I haven't really been talking about a ton is I've been um, working on sewing masks um, for a local medical facility that has a um, severe lack of masks. Um, so I figured out a pattern with them. I dropped off some prototypes yesterday that they liked. We came up with like maybe one little switch on them and I'm gonna go into mask production sewing tonight. I'm going to get some fabric this afternoon. I've got to pick up at our local fabric store. She's leaving some out for me um, so that I can go into production for those guys. And that feels really good to be doing something safely from home and for somebody else. Um, so I urge everybody, if you find out something you can do from home that would help the greater good, go for it. I know not everybody can do it and I really respect that, but this is something I found that I can do. And that's um, kind of filling a little hole in my heart. And although I'm not doing it for me, I'm doing it for them because I really am so appreciative of what um, healthcare workers are doing right now all over the world. It's really amazing and a little scary. Um, I'm going to switch gears and talk about knitting. Okay. What I'm knitting right now, because I have so much going on on the computer and with pattern, um, patterns that are off with tech editor and back from tech editor and things I'm working on. I'm knitting Jessie May, who's a designer. She's mostly on Instagram. Her patterns are on Ravelry. I know I told you that um, last fall I knit a bunch of her bralettes for both Bella and myself, and she released this knitted crop. Um, hey, Bella just walked in, and I'm going to tell her that the YouTube Live didn't work out because data just totally fell apart. So oh. I'm just recording, and um, then I'm going to post it. So now she gets to leave and go back to college work again. She was so adorable this morning. She was supposed to work for me, and she came running in, and she was like, the course catalog for fall came up, and it's my favorite thing to do to go through it and choose classes, so can I do that and work for you later today? And I was like that's adorable. Okay, honey, <laughs> like whatever brings you joy right now. I'm, I'm all for. Um, so this is a, um, it's basically like a mystery knit along, but it's the whole pattern was released all at once. And it's for, so it's for like a secret little crop top. And I think I'm going to make it for me or Bella. I know you think it looks very small, but it's ribbing and it stretches out like incredibly. Um, and it's supposed to be fitted tight. And I just lost some stitches on my needles because I'm classy like that. Um, 
and I'm just knitting this basically it's three by three ribbing right now in the round around and around so I can pick it up and put it down and I'm not having to think at all which I just needed like a palette cleanser basically so this is my little like something um I found this skein number um last week I was talking about maybe doing a baby pattern like the little coronavirus baby pattern because there's gonna be so many babies in nine months um and I found the skein of Gage Dye Works whiskey in a teacup so I think I'm gonna challenge myself to be like what baby design could like a baby net could I design with a skein of self-striping yarn because I know there's a lot of dyers out there that do really cool self-striping sock yarns and um, a lot of you might have some in stash somewhere or be able to support an indie dyer and buy a skein from them at some point so um, Catherine at Gage had given this to me when she sent me an order last um, summer I think for the flosaic shawls and I've been I think it's going to be really fun and springy to knit on and not just my sweater well just kind of matches everything going on i know you want to know about my shawl you can't know about my shawl yet i'm just wearing it and not telling you anything because i'm like that let's look at our list again um pacificus dk knit along plan so i am going to release a video i believe on monday that will give you information about working gauge swatches, different yarns you can use because right now Blueprint is not shipping. So if you didn't choose to get a Cloudborne um, Pima Cotton DK kit from them, I think that they're on pause because Illinois businesses, including e-commerce, got shut down. Um, which I agree that like a big shipping warehouse maybe should not be open right now if it's not essential goods um, but we'll see what happens with that um, I'm trying not to be too opinionated about anything because things are changing so quickly and I'm not sure my opinions can keep up with the change right now so um, working on being my most understanding and least judgmental self while I cry a little bit inside and have a pit in my stomach um, and I'm also really positive all those things all at once. It's a complicated life I lead. Um, so Pacificus DK on Monday, I'll release that initial video. That'll be like to get you going, figure out what size you want to make, get your gauge swatch going, help you guys choose sizes, what have you. And then the first phase will come out. Um, I believe I decided April 15th was a really good day to have that phase come out. So we'll start it mid April in case people still need to get yarn. I just, the, um, knit along that's going so well in our Ravelry group is wrapping up on the first and I just kind of wanted to give a little buffer window in between knit alongs partially so people could catch up and get ready for it and partially so people could knit on some other stuff a little bit because certainly not the only knitwear designer out there there's lots of us to love and support and um are you ready for the exciting news I had to share the exciting news is um that my blueprint class that I've been working on since last like September or October and was out there filming in February, that's the last trip I took before everything shut down for me, um, is releasing supposedly on Friday evening. When it releases, I will post the patterns to Ravelry and I will um, send out an email with a link um, so that if you're not a member of um, Blueprint and you want to be, if you go through my link, that kind of helps me and helps you. So I'll get that all to you as soon as it's up in Adam. Um, there are two patterns that come with the class. One is called Bead Kerchief that I'm wearing. The other is a cuff called Filum. Um, I did maintain the ability to sell kits in my shop for both of those um, patterns and those kits come with download codes and the class also come with, comes with download codes. So the only reason you should buy the patterns on Ravelry is um, if you're not going to watch Blueprint and get the patterns that way or you're not getting a kit and getting the patterns that way. So I just want to be really clear about that. Um, they're, the patterns are going to be available in multiple places for you. It's a really, I'm trying to back up. I'm not really supposed to show you too much. So I'm kind of backing up. It's a really easy top down triangular shaped shawl with like a center spine going down and this really fun random beading technique that I used on bearing shawl and bearing cowl. Um, so I think it'll be a really comforting fun knit for everybody. Um, 
because it is my birthday tomorrow, I am turning 28 again. I've been 28 for a long time. I'm super good at being 28. Um, because it's my birthday, I, I'm going to put the kits up for sale tonight late into my shop and I'm going to have a small sale in my Etsy shop. I can't do a big sale right now because um, it just doesn't make sense to do. Um, I, um, I want to be able to support other people and continue to do projects and invest into them. And I, um, we're all being careful right now. So anyway, that all said tomorrow sale in my shop, um, and I'll have both new kits in there. So if you want to see the new patterns tomorrow, that's going to be the place to go see them. And I'll post links on like Facebook and Ravelry and Instagram. Um, but I probably won't send out an email until the class launches because I'm trying not to send out too many emails. I'll see about that. I haven't decided. Um, so yay, new class for you. Um, I think it's it's probably an hour and a half-ish, a little more. I had the most amazing producer and she um, really had me really comfortable behind the camera and I really, um, I think you guys are gonna be really, have a good time watching it and I am excited to hear what you think about it. Um, I know for me, it was um, really a really satisfying project to work on. Um, there I said that. I said that, um, I'm trying not to make this too long a video so I can upload it and get it up there this evening. Um, I'm working on a big surprise for you for next week and, um, next Wednesday, I'm just going to shoot another YouTube. I think we will stop trying the lives for a little while. I'll shoot another log for you. I'll reveal it in there, but it'll release earlier in the week. And that's all I'm going to say. Just keep an eye on my, um, on all my feeds and all the social media places and you'll hear when that comes out. It's, um, let's just say it's something you've been waiting for for a long time and it was finally time to make that happen for you. Um, some of you are going to ask what sweater I'm wearing. I'm wearing Leo. I'll stand up so you can see it. Um, it's in Barocco. Um, I am drawing a giant blank. A Barocco yarn that is very soft. Melanie knit it for me. It's a merino wool. Um, I don't wear it a huge amount because it um, this yarn pills kind of easily, and so I try to keep it nice. Um, but I got to wear it for you guys today because I can take it off and put on my crappy sweatshirt after this. Um, let's see what else. I'm almost done. Oh, finally. So what I was doing on the lives was having a... Um, a giveaway at the end of the live where I gave you guys a prompt and asked you to leave a comment. Um, either you can leave a comment either in the YouTube um, thread, like the comments below this video, or over in Ravelry. I'll set up a thread and you could leave a comment there. And I'm going to choose 10 people from amongst both those places to join me for a, a knitting like a knitting session on Zoom. So that's like a virtual knitting session. We all hang out and knit together. We did the first one last Sunday and it was super fun. Um, there was a knitter from Denmark there, Susu. There was a knitter from Costa Rica, from Canada, a bunch of us from the US. All the um, moderators from our Ravelry group are in there, um, which is really fun for you guys to get to know them a little bit better. And um, we had a great time. So that will be this Sunday at 4 p.m. And what I would love to hear from you as your chance to enter and win is, um, and by winning, um, what that means is I'll choose 10 people, I'll notify you in one of those places, either Earburn You and Ravelry, or I'll reply to your comment in YouTube. So keep an eye on that. I'll choose people on Saturday. And, um, and then I'll send you, I'll get your email from you to send you a link for the Zoom on Sunday. And what I would like to know from you is what is your like go to escape either video, movie, book, audio book, like entertainment. What's your thing that you go to when you need just like some comfort food and to get away from it all? I'm going to cry again. <laughs> so I'm about to tell you mine and it's so stupidly embarrassing, but when I really need 
a break and I do it a lot in hotel rooms because it tends to be on TVs in hotels. I really love the Twilight series, those three movies that came out in like the early 2000s with the the girl Bella. That was, it's not because my daughter's name is Bella, I swear, but there's something about those movies that is just like completely entertaining to me and I can watch them again and again and I'm not bored and I feel a, a twilight like marathon coming on really soon um so like that what what's your thing like what's your jam that gives you comfort and leave that comment either here in the YouTube comments or over in um Ravelry I'll set up a thread for that and I'll choose 10 people and I'll notify you on Saturday and then you'll all get to hang out with me and knit on Sunday and Zoom's handling internet really well so that I can do from my house you guys we're gonna be okay we cry a little laugh a little find joy find the places you can help and um we're all gonna get to hug each other for real soon the, um, the, the, the more we do this, the sooner we get to hug, okay? Um, I adore you. Thank you so much for being there. I'm there for you too, okay? Ciao.